So I don't really know how I missed this, but Telltale's upcoming game, The Expanse, has sort of been under my radar, but I finally have seen the trailer, and my goodness, it looks awesome. Basically, it retains the core art style from previous Telltale games, but it makes it a little bit more realistic. Everything from the shadows to the reflections to the lighting has been vastly improved. It looks less cell shaded though it retains that cartoon art style. It looks a little bit more 3D and dimensional rather than just very cell shaded like I mentioned. But the thought that kept coming to my mind as I was watching it is this art style and this gameplay and this level of performance would look so good in a season 3 of Batman. For those who don't know, Telltale's official stance is that they are not working on a Batman game right now, but they have retained the license so they could. They could make a season 3 and I do think it is very likely that they will, especially if there is success behind The Expanse. And again, I think it looks very impressive. It's very clear to me that for The Expanse, this new team that has revived the Telltale brand has worked very hard to keep those core elements, like I mentioned, that fans love, but also evolve it so that it looks more fitting in modern AAA video game spaces. One of the big complaints of Telltale games before it originally got shut down was that it felt kind of like quantity over quality. They kept pushing their devs to make games, and that didn't really give them time to innovate or improve their game engine. And the result was that the games, as good as they were from a storytelling perspective, felt a little bit outdated and never really felt like they were evolving. I even remember in the Batman Telltale seasons, it felt very janky, it felt like the audio was not quite mixed correctly and it was coming in at the wrong time or some sound effects just wouldn't play, there were frame rate stutters, long loading screens, and just very bizarre things for games that were releasing on the Xbox One and PS4 era of consoles. But I would love to see a Gotham City rendered in this cartoony but also very heavily detailed style that they are doing for The Expanse. I'd love to see what they could do with the character models. Seeing a Batman and Joker rendered in this style fighting would just be so cool. And it looks like they've kept the primary thing that fans love, which is the dialogue and the story-driven narrative, but they've also included a bit more interaction, it seems, in more of the gameplay and more of the cutscenes that you're watching for the most part. The other game that current Telltale is working on is The Wolf Among Us Season 2, and that one does retain more of the cel-shaded style, but from a performance perspective, that one does look impressive if the trailer is to be believed. I do think it's likely that if they made a Batman Telltale Season 3, it would look and have a story very similar to what we saw before, but again, just expanded, and something that would be making use of the new hardware that it has the opportunity of releasing on. I know that this has been a rather short video, I just think that what we've seen from Telltale with The Wolf Among Us Season 2, and especially from The Expanse, really shows that Batman Telltale Season 3 would knock it out of the park and would be a really awesome project. So I do hope that these current Telltale games work, and I would love for Telltale to consider their next project as Batman Season 3. I know a lot of fans have been excited to see what happens after the events of The Enemy Within, and I personally would be excited to see what villains they'd choose and what story they would choose to tell. So let me know in the comments below what you would like to see from a season 3 of Batman the Telltale series. Thank you all so much for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in the next one.